All right, Paul is here, and so are the apples and pumpkins, whether you're visiting a pumpkin patch or picking apples. This morning, we're giving you some ideas to spice up your kitchen with some popular fall delights. Mark Bailey, a private chef here in New York City, is back yes. with some great ideas. Welcome. Yes, thanks. Thanks for having me again. So yes. this looks and smells delicious. Well, you know what? We eat with our eyes. So, you know, I did a little <laughs> one stop shopping at JCPenney, I'll confess, mm -hmm. you know, and got all these great orange and, you know, pumpkin flavored looking things, the plates, the, the you know, it's all about brown and it's orange beautiful. this season, you know? It's so, so cozy. I love all the decor exactly. I love the little placemats too. They're cool. <laughs> Very nice. So you have a, several things yes. to show us. Smoothies first. You know, I love mm. a good smoothie. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin and apple smoothies, guys. What I like to do is I definitely, you know, we always get canned pumpkin mm -hmm. puree. Mm -hmm. Go with fresh this time. All you got to ah. throw a little pumpkin in the oven, bake it, you know, for about 45 minutes, get the, you know, all the guts out and stuff like that. And then what I do is I blend that with some fresh apples, oh. honey, and um, almond milk. This looks delicious. Yes, Are you going to try it? Oh, I'll try it. Okay. <laughs> Wait, and when you say when you put the pumpkin in the oven, yeah, do you well, legit put the whole pumpkin? Literally in? cut it in half. Mm -hmm. I put it in the oven and bake it kind of face down with a little water in the baking pan. Cover it with foil paper, and that'll get it, keep it nice and moist. And Very yeah, nice. And then is there some out. banana in there? Yeah, there's banana in there as well, apple, um, and pumpkin spice. Oh, I put sorry, in there I as well. That. Really good. <laughs> yeah, and a little yogurt too. So yeah, there's a lot going well, on. Let me ask that. If you make it, can you can it store in the refrigerator for a little bit, or you gotta make it and eat it? I love it fresh. Okay. I love yeah, I love okay. a fresh smoothie. Delicious. Exactly. Yes. What's next? Salad, a warm mm. pumpkin and apple salad. Again, get your uh, your your pumpkin in the oven, roast it, and then what I do is I sauté the apples, cut them sliced, and then ah. sauté them real quick. Add it with some crumbled. Uh, uh, cheese, some blue cheese, as well as some walnuts, and you got yourself a great salad. What kind of dressing? This is a balsamic vinegar as well as apple cider vinegar mixed, mm -hmm. and so that just gives it an extra little kick. The uh, apple cider there. Very and nice. Yeah, it's delicious. And, you, and this is going to be warm when it goes on. Yes, yes. exactly. Okay. Warm, exactly. Pierogies, you know, it's National Pierogi Day, didn't you know no, that? No, Yes, it actually, I informed you guys. <laughs> what I have, it's great, uh, I went with Mrs. T Pierogies, and they're great for the holiday, as mm -hmm. well as, you know, casual getting together with friends. But what I've also done is sauteed some apple, created an apple compote, and I actually put the pumpkin apple spice on the, um, on the apples as well. Mm. Now, a quick tip on the uh, pumpkin apple spice. It's really just all spice, ginger powder, cinnamon, as well as nutmeg. So you make this yourself? Make it yourself. You don't have to run out and buy the exact spice if you don't want to. If you've got those four ingredients at home, you got to But if you want to go out and buy it, like me? Yeah. <laughs> then you can buy it made, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay. But you know, I saute it with butter, the uh, mm -hmm. apples with butter, and then what I do is I just toss the uh, pierogies in there as well. And then all of that comes together real well like that over oh. there. Yeah, but it's really yummy. And the things about pierogies is that you can bake them, you can uh, saute them, or you can uh, boil them. And so when you make them on the stove, uh -huh. high or low, the heat? You know, I like to keep it low so that the, uh, you know, all the, the ingredients and everything kind of like simmer really well. The mm -hmm. butter is in there as well. You know, we love butter. Well, yes. <laughs> that's the way, you know, we were talking about people going pumpkin picking and they're bringing uh -huh. their real pumpkins and mm -hmm. they're making it this out of that fresh exactly do you yeah. have any tips on I mean is it if we carved it it's okay to still kind of use some of it for am I crazy am I <laughs> no, no, okay. yeah, no that's okay exactly I would carve it in like fours and okay. this way you can you know do all different things with it you don't have to like use the whole pumpkin all at right. once you know so I would carve it all in fours and then again if you want to get puree bake it Oh. Put it in the oven, you know, exactly. And then lastly, we have L some. Lastly, actually, mm. second to last, we have some grilled cheese sandwiches. It's <gasps> apple as well as pumpkin puree, as well as some white cheese on there and arugula. Love a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, my goodness. Vanessa We've been was talking those. about And these. I also did Sorry. some uh, pumpkin apple crisp. You know, we love dessert. <gasps> yeah. Pumpkin apple crisp, topped it with a little yogurt as well there, and it's delicious. It got, you know, a nice streusel topping with cinnamon, butter. It's really <laughs> yeah. good. You, you yeah. can try. That's easier to try. I love how you gave me the sandwich. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. This is for picking out post. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, you know, it's kind of interesting to get all your And this is apple. yogurt on the top That's versus a little yogurt. whipped cream? Yeah, okay. if you want to keep it a little lighter, you know, you don't uh -huh. have to go with um, 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 whipped cream. But whipped mm. cream's yummy, too, you know. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. What, now, I know you don't have apple pie here, but if you were to make an apple pie, what, mm -hmm. is, what is the best apple that you usually use you know, for that? You know, I love, I love green apples, mm. truth be known. I, I just have an affinity for green apples. So, hey, you know, I, mm -hmm. I say go with the apples that you love. Go with anything. <laughs> all right, we brought Vanessa in. It's That's a great, the, great day to maybe do some mm -hmm. baking or some cooking. Oh, yeah. yeah, the smell alone. Yes. I just love this season for the, the apple and the pumpkin's aroma. Mm -hmm. Got yes. it all up in here. Do I have it all up in here? <laughs> <laughs> I've been smelling it for the past hour, and it's amazing, yes.